if the fans don't rise up in this moment, it ain't gonna happen. It was insanity. It, it was absolute insanity. With Veronica Mars, it feels like there's some unfinished business. I think that we all want to see how Veronica turned out. The original idea was film noir. That worked shockingly, amazingly well on a TV show, but I feel like it would work even better in the compressed format of a movie. I think Rob can tell a really great detective story in 90 minutes to two hours. I'm looking forward to seeing him try. Two million dollars in a day? Crazy. Guys, <laughs> With this show, it's such a devoted audience. It reminded me a lot of like the rock and roll bands of my youth and the way people really clutched this to their bosom and said, this is a special show. You kind of forget, oh yeah, I helped make this year. The money I gave is the reason why it's even banned. You're not even thinking about it. You're thinking like, oh, I get to see so-and-so and oh, I get to do this. It's so cool. Never done anything like this before. I definitely feel like I have memories for a lifetime. It's amazing. I feel a bit like I'm about to explode. The thing you gotta know is it was never just about the money. It was that Rob Thomas and Kristen Bell really knew their fans. All right, it's 8.19. We have an hour and 11 minutes before we launch. I am terrified that any number of things could go wrong, particularly things like driving to the office, I will crash my car. I think that Veronica Mars has earned the right to be a movie. It felt like it was inevitable that there would be another incarnation of, of Veronica Mars. I don't expect for immediately a million dollars to rack up. I think it will take a while for the news to disseminate. And I imagine that's going to be a painful process launching and not seeing contributors right off the bat. I called Kristen and asked, hey, are you on board for this? And I kind of heard of Kickstarter and I thought it was brilliant because it was really the way for us to answer the question, do the fans want this? I love her for saying, okay, yeah, if it gets the movie made, let's do it. If we don't hit two million, it, it's dead. Um, and with it dies the shot of there ever being a Veronica Mars movie, like this is, this is the last ditch attempt. I don't remember the exact moment he mentioned it. I do remember thinking, that sounds a bit crackers. Um, but, you know, it, it, Rob's had some crackers ideas over the time, like, why don't we just shoot the party down pilot in our backyard and try to sell it as a series? I'm like, that sounds crackers, but let's do it. And it led to a series. Okay, launch the Kickstarter page. All right, here, I, I'm hitting launch right now. Congratulations, your project is live on Kickstarter. Drum roll, here's your project URL. We are live, yeah. we're, uh, well, we're yeah, live. I, I we have a new backer. We have our first backer. One backer, $100 for the first backer. All right. That's pretty crazy. All right, our first one. We have $100. We said, you know what, why don't we just make a video? That way they can have something to look at, they can have something tangible to say, this is what we mean, this is what we try to be promoting to make this movie happen. When I saw the video, I thought, you know, this is, this is if, if a fan saw this um, uh, in an environment like Kickstarter, I think it would really be a transformative thing. So this is literally the room where the Veronica Mars movie came to life. And in the end, he was re he really, I think, was able to pull that off of basically saying to the fans, we need to show the studio that this is a worthwhile investment for them. But once we do, having the studio on board will help us, will let us make a bigger, better movie that goes wider. Rob was there with a incredibly clear vision and personal passion for the project, and that was really the key thing at every point. Okay, here we go, like 15 seconds later. Will we be over 28? Oh God, that was a thousand dollars in 20 seconds. That was, that was crazy. That first hour was so unbelievably exciting, um, like seeing like the first hundred thousand dollars rolling quickly, and then, and then it just became, it became insane. All I could do was keep looking at the Kickstarter page, rising and rising. I woke up when it was at four hundred thousand or something, because I was very pregnant. I'd slept in. I opened my computer and I was just in shock. Kristen. 
I, best case, I did not imagine we would do a million in the first four and a half hours. We were basing all of this on like, okay, cool, we get a fair amount of feedback about people who want the movie, we'll do it for them. But this is just, it's overwhelming. I think the next, the next update is going to take us over. One million, so one million, one thousand dollars. <laughs> I couldn't believe that, A, it was showing signs of success, B, that we were probably gonna make our goal within a day, which had never happened before. It was all crazy surreal. Okay. $21,000 to go. Uh, maybe we're at 10 hours and 10 minutes. But this is the biggie. This is, you know, a million was nice, but two million was our goal. So when this clicks over, we are a green lit movie. Um, we are making this movie. Oh, look at that. Yes! Two million! We are green lit! I didn't know if it would be sustainable and we would reach our goal, but it was. Sustainable. You guys left a, a shack size footprint on Kickstarter with Veronica Mars' name right in the middle of it. If it wasn't for you guys, Veronica Mars, the movie would never be happening. And I love Kickstarter, and I love all 91,000 of you for actually making this happen. I'm so excited, man, to, to bring you guys the best movie possible and to see everyone again. Which I'm just um, excited to be the Casablancas again and, and just celebrating the movie. I'm excited too, man. Nice. I'm so happy. I'm so, so happy to be a part of this whole weird, wonderful thing. Big Veronica spring. Mars. Veronica <laughs> Mars. <laughs> Veronica <laughs> Mars will be a movie. Veronica Mars movie. Veronica, Veronica Mars. Veronica Mars, Mars might have Rock the best fans in the business. Four hours in less than a day. Don't understand wow. JP. Exactly. It's uh, beyond my wildest dreams. I, you know, I was hoping that we would pass the two million dollar mark, but this, I, I never could have imagined that we'd do it in, you know, in half a day. to make a movie, it's been like the same 20 people. <laughs> what if we launch on Kickstarter and they're like eight fans? <laughs> I am so overwhelmed uh, and overjoyed by the reaction to this. It has been first the most exhausting month of my life and the best month. It has been so much fun, not to discount the birth of our children, honey. <laughs> in for it, suddenly you need to deliver. And I hadn't spent much 
energy on that. I had spent all of my energy on just getting the thing off the ground. And so there was uh, absolutely a moment where it dawned on me that, oh, and, and now you have to make this and it better be good. This is not exactly how it's gonna be, but I loved what you were saying about my name is Veronica and I'm a private eye. I just think this is fucking brilliant. At some point, I, I figured out I need help on the movie and so I called one of the best writers of Veronica Mars and had done so many great episodes and I asked her to help me with the script. The seat at her father's desk is, hi, my name is Veronica and I'm a private eye and then, hi, Veronica. I, I, so I just... I, I, honest to God, I, I, I have goosebumps. I, I, I'm excited because I kind of love do. that. I, 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 got, I genuinely got goosebumps. That feels right on. She, as always, wrote great stuff. The tech scout wore us out. It was, uh, 13 hours uh, on a bus with a lot of really terrific, talented people, but still exhausting. Two days in a row of that. Two days in a row, it was... Wonderful location scouting. <laughs> there has been a guiding philosophy of like, what would the fans enjoy? What would bring them, you know, special merriment in seeing the movie and playing it? With other movies, you're always trying to make a great movie. And this one, you like, we, we feel the spirit of the fans kind of at our at our backs in a good way, kind of lifting us through the whole thing. It is all about the backers. Yeah. Yeah. Way more than I would have initially thought. <laughs> Every single thing we do, we have to think about it in terms of And, you and know. we're both and all of us are really happy to because it does it does give the it makes you feel like you're doing something more special than just another movie. Action. When you're set. It feels far more important because um, fans invested in us. I mean, when you get a response like 90,000 people chipping in for something, you just can't really believe that. I've never really been a part of something that's been viral like that. They asked us to complete this for them, and they um, made it financially possible. So it feels really important to get it right. So I think we're all just bringing our A-game uh, and trying to make the best movie possible. I'm going to shoot my first shot. It's been uh, seven years, maybe eight years. But I was nervous for about one second, and then it just all went away, and now it feels totally normal again. I am so excited to be here, and um, seeing everyone again is, uh, is a lot of stimulus. It was the best feeling in the world. I was worried about whether or not I needed a prosthetic wig and stuff. But I just wanted to make sure I was in the damn thing. <laughs> <laughs> that's my homeboy. That's uh, that's that's my man. I hope we give the fans what they want. I think, thankfully, there's no bigger fan of the show than Rob and Kristen and the rest of the cast. I think so because this movie is funded by the fans and there's a real want for it, there's a great energy and vibe on set. It's really fun and everyone's really excited to be here. <laughs> <laughs> I know that Rob loves these characters. I know that all of us love these characters. Like, obviously, we don't want to let anybody down. It's, it bizarre. it's, it's been really of, weird. It's like yelling and screaming. Yeah, yeah. It's like, <laughs> hey, here you are. It's been eight years. <laughs> oh, thank God. <laughs> Not special. That's how he greets everyone. I'd say every day. You should hear stories from Just Shoot Me. To have these opportunities, man, and then to be here again, it's just, it just just gives you this feeling like... Almost more than being a part of this movie, I was just looking forward to seeing everybody again. Cut the sleeves off all of my shirts, uh, immediately stuck my head underwater, slicked it back, and then uh, watched a lot of pornography. And then I got a phone call saying, hey, you're gonna do this? Oh, shit, this is rad. For us, it's a real treat because I don't get to see these guys very often, you know? I bump into them once in a while sometimes. But for the most part, I haven't seen these guys, so it really is a reunion for us. Ah, oh, it's super sick, I gotta be honest. We're all just like kids, and just to, to see what happened over those few years of filming, and then to pause, and to come back five years later, I mean, it's, it's really... I was so happy to be part of this. I feel like it's like movie history. It's been terrible. <laughs> I have to see this girl. <laughs> what no. are you talking about? That was like the highlight of your day. Yes, it is. It's been amazing. It's my buddy. I know.
It was, it was just a great experience working on Veronica Mars the first time, and uh, I love the character. She's, you know, sort of a mean girl, so it's, it's fun to play. It really is like, oh, 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 except for Rico. I'm getting dressed. What are you doing? Get out of here. Yeah. Going to the Mars house, first day. Christian didn't wait two minutes to make fun of me. Like, right out of the gate. She said my acting was subhuman. It's like you've been here ever since. I think it's, it's, like it's got that feel to it. A twilight These zone characters have episode. never really gone anywhere. They're right here. If you think Kristen as an actor, you can just uh, snap into it and out of it quick? With this character, yeah. Yeah. My body wants to be Veronica like it wants more oxygen. It's fun to be back. Somehow our location leaked, so there was a group of fans standing outside sort of taking pictures of our set, and so rather than being standoffish, you know, they just wandered out into the middle of the group of fans and took pictures and signed autographs. Regular fans are fine. Veronica Mars fans are until now. Yeah, no, that's pretty much the main difference. Oh no way! Oh, that's interesting. They know more about like the show, the character, like who your character is gonna grow up to be than like I even knew. The, the difference between regular fans and Veronica Mars fans is I don't have any regular fans. I only have Veronica Mars fans. Like they actually knew where we were shooting today, and I didn't. These guys, the fans, Unagi. Okay. My name is Mariana, and I'm from Brazil. <laughs> I really wanted to support this movie. This is something that we fans are hoping to have for, for so long, and I never stopped being a fan. You know, in back in Brazil, I moderate a community. Uh, for Brazilian fans that had like over 10,000 people. We were hoping like to see maybe glimpses, you know, of the, the shooting, but we were like, when they came out and talked to us, it was so amazing. I was like shaking, I couldn't take it, the picture. It was amazing, Christine was so kind and she, she uh, spent a lot of time talking to me. All of them, actually, they are all so great. It exceeded my expectations. It's fun to see, you know, maybe someday if we get to do 10 of these, we will become jaded. But right now, at this point, everyone's pretty giddy to get to be making it. I think I just made a Kickstarter joke. Good, very good. I think I made the first Kickstarter joke. You did. There and you know, it was, it was great reuniting the old cast, but we had a lot of new friends that joined. When we come up with a really good, like, little cameo that someone can do, we're really excited for them because it's not in the film. No one knows about it yet. We yeah. haven't announced it. And there's so many fantastic surprises that are coming and down the And some we're not even going to announce. And we think that the guest actors had a terrific time in the movie as well. It's 2.30 in the afternoon, our exact call time. This is a triple banger of Veronica, Logan, and enter new character Ruby. What you'll see. My name is Gabby Hoffman, and I'm playing Ruby Jetson. I mean, I, kn I know that the show has had an amazing, huge following. I feel like it's one of like three shows of the last decade that people are just truly, truly obsessed over. And I just like the idea that the fans became very proactive and said, we'll fund it. We'll, we'll put the money up. And I think that's just a nice, lovely, a uh, vote of confidence for both the fans and the creative team here. Why do you think you're worthy of being on Veronica Mars? Like, imagine, like, the best person and then just, like, raise that by a notch. Like, almost, almost Jesus. That's how I would describe him. Clearly the caliber of actor that they have on the show already warrants an upgrade. Luckily, they're Kristen's fans, so I have very little pressure on me. I'm free to disappoint on all levels, and I hope to really do that. No, I think everyone, especially you can tell the mood, I think everyone's like just excited to be part of something this unique. Paid the money, uh, had never met Kristen before, got a call from her personally, which was also crazy. Uh, and, and then I thought, like, well, maybe it's because I'm an actor, and like maybe there's that thing. 
but apparently she's been doing that with everybody who's contributed, I think it's 20 or more dollars, um, and they get to actually be in the movies. I've been a part of projects that were completely funded by me and my brother and some friends, <laughs> but no, nothing nothing like this, and especially, and especially nothing like uh, however many 90,000 you know, funders there are. It's truly special, and truly, uh, this is pretty groundbreaking. Um, aren't you supposed to say, like, in these, as a reporter, aren't you supposed to go, like, three, two, one? Oh, yeah, that's right. Like, go into it. Three, two, one. Uh, you guys know who this is? Jerry O. That's what I call him. That's right. Jerry O'Connell. This is pretty seamless. I, I'm playing a version of myself, so it wasn't that hard to do. Who's changed the most? Kristen's breast. <laughs> Hands down. She's got a baby wow. at home, man. Yeah, full of milk. Did you see those things? <laughs> it's just, you, you, it's you not. Yeah, it's a little exaggerated, like most versions of myself on, on camera. Similar to this is the end, although uh, PG-13, not R. <laughs> this is Ira Glass. Right. I'm Chris Lowell. We just shot a scene together. So I was in your world completely being totally terrified to be in your and world. And I'm in your world now, interviewing you being totally <laughs> terrified. I mean, I think my relationship with the film is the same as the people who donate it. I'm a fan of Veronica Mars. Right. And so I'm excited in the same way that anybody who liked Veronica Mars is excited that there's going to be a movie. And how does it feel to be in it? It's amazing because I'm a fan. This is so much more respect than I get from anybody in my own life. Come you know here I mean? anytime like, you need it. Seriously. Yeah. Oh, and we have to go. Uh, no, what happens now? Do I shake your hand? Is that how you normally do it? Yeah, I, no proper interview ends without a handshake. I'd really? It, no. <laughs> <laughs> so we already had a special thing going on set when the, when the cast got back together that felt like a wonderful reunion. When the backers came out, that's when the vibe just went into the stratosphere. Having this unique thing where the backers came to set and visited, the people who had made the movie possible came out, it changed the whole vibe. It was wonderful. Hi, I'm Monica, I'm from San Diego, and I manage contracts for a living. I'm Lillian, um, I'm from Hawaii, and I'm a flight attendant. There's nobody who's a bigger Veronica Mars fan than her. And like, I love Veronica Mars, but Lillian is like the biggest biggest fan. I've watched the whole series. I can't even tell you how many times. I'm guessing it's somewhere around 15 times, beginning to end, all three seasons. Um, I'm a few hours behind California time because I live in Hawaii, and I just remember seeing that all the packages were gone. They were slowly disappearing. I mean, like, they were getting better and better, and then I saw that there were premiere tickets and they were gone, and I was just sitting there devastated. I mean, I could still donate money, but all the reward packages that I wanted were gone, and I was like, as far as I'm concerned, no one's a bigger fan, so how can these, how can I not get one of these rewards? packages and I was just very upset about it and that same day I was actually going to visit her in San Diego so I got to her house and was just kind of venting about you know I'm so glad it's happening I'm so glad I'm so proud of the fans but man am I bummed out that I did not get a reward package I'm not gonna be like oh it's all gone and now I get nothing I do want to go to the premiere if the premiere tickets come back up I will buy them you could just go and then she surprised me with a printout from the Kickstarter. She had um, bid for a reward package for us. Oh my God! <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, we got product <laughs> And then we'll go to the after party too. Oh my God! <laughs> that was the best surprise ever. Like I, I, I thought if there was ever a more perfect present for her than this is it. So I was really excited to get that. Kickstarter was the perfect platform for it. I'm so glad that the creators and the actors were still interested in making the movie happen because it really gave the fans the hope that we needed anything that we can experience. Just anything. And there's Jason Dory. Yeah, right and there. we'd like to meet Jason as well. <laughs> Oh my god. And that was Jason Dolphin. Hi. Hi. Jason. 
It's nice to meet you. I'm Lillian. Lillian? Okay. Yes. That's my daughter's name. Can I say I know without oh, sounding really? no, super no, no. stalkerish? No, no, no. It's hard to say that. <laughs> it's uh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Twins? Though? Yes, I'm Monica. Yeah. Jason, nice to meet you. Is there anything I can do? This is this is a little <laughs> behind the scenes film. You guys are going to be superstars now. Yeah, this is kind of a highlight right there. Okay. Yeah, this is pretty. I don't really know how much better the day can get. Oh gosh. Right geez. now. Right. Nice <laughs> to meet you. It was. Nice to meet you. Yes, we'll see you guys around. We'll be yeah. around most of the. As long as they'll let us, they'll have to kick us off okay, to get, cool. make us go home. <laughs> okay, good. Well, I'll see you later. Bye. Antoine Owens and Katrina Rock. This is my girlfriend. Um, and we're both from Dallas. And I'm from St. Paul, Minnesota. From Houston, Texas. From Suffolk, Virginia. We are sisters and we live in Chicago, Illinois. I'm from Boston. And this is my father. San Francisco. New Jersey. Seattle. We came here from Providence, Rhode Island. From Richmond, California. Sacramento, California. Philadelphia. From New York City. Columbus, Ohio. We're from Hong Kong. There was no conversation. <laughs> Andrew mentioned that he'd read it in the paper. I said, stop. I went on to Kickstarter. I checked it out, and it's like, how deep do we want to go? I told him, there's an opportunity. So can I, can I hit the bid if we get it? And you said? Absolutely. We looked at each other and we're like, you know, if not for Veronica Mars, then for who? So here we are. I, I texted her and I was like, hey, we're going to be extras in <laughs> Veronica Mars. And it was... Uh... And I, I texted back, are you drunk? <laughs> yeah. And then... <laughs> And then he just said no, and I said, well, then that's really awesome, because I thought he was kidding. So my friend and I were getting really excited, and one day he sends me a message and just says, you're going to be in the Veronica Mars movie. My boyfriend uh, knows that I'm a huge Veronica Mars fan, and he got this for me for my birthday. My sister actually bought this for me as my birthday gift, which was pr pretty much the best present, because she didn't tell me what she contributed, I didn't tell her what I contributed, and um, I did not buy her an extra spot. Sorry, Tui. <laughs> uh, I texted her, because if you can get these days off, we would be extras in the Veronica Mars movie. And I was and like, she, what? I like texted her back, like, what? And I was like, no, no. And I called her up, and I was like, yeah. what? And we can tell and people, we, we made that happen. <laughs> right. we, we were part of making that happen. Right. That's my elbow. <laughs> like, or that's me in the background. <laughs> She's like, you know what? Screw it. I'm, just, I'm not going to take vacation this summer. I'm going to go be in Veronica Mars instead. And I, I am so glad I did, because it, it's just been incredible. Mars March 13th is when the Kickstarter happened for Veronica Mars, and March 19th, he proposed. So six days later, in a matter of one week, my entire world was just kind of, it couldn't have gotten better. Contributing the money is one thing so that it can get made, but also literally being a part of it and being a part of the shooting and meeting the cast and stuff like that, all of that seemed like an invaluable kind of experience. It's so nice to just meet people and feel like you have so much in common with them already because you have the same frames of reference, you have the same, you get excited about the same things, you have, you know, you can refer to storylines and everybody's on the same page. Um, it's just an all around great experience. Anything that involved interacting with our backers was my responsibility and on set, that meant having the chance when our 93 backers showed up as extras to be kind of the first point of contact to meet them, to get them to wardrobe, to show them around and give them a tour of set, to make sure that they got time to hang out with the actors at lunch. I thought we'd get introduced and we'd see them around. Yeah. I didn't quite realize how intimate the set would be or how accessible the stars would be. I think when Kristen came in and talked to us for a really long time at lunch, and that was really special. And she's such a genuinely warm, enthusiastic person, and it's just infectious, and so you just feel good being around her. They were just so warm and so open and so sweet about everything that yeah. it made it a really rare experience to have and uh, I'm really grateful. What I was interested in bringing to the project was making sure that we didn't lose sight of why fans wanted to be involved, that we could make good on that promise of what they really were hoping for and give back to them what I think they deserve for making the movie happen, which was an exceptional experience, the chance to really understand that we valued them not just for their money, but because their passion made this possible. You know, if everyone else was sort of producing the movie, I think I was sort of there to produce their experience and their time spent interacting with the movie. Um, and it was possibly one of the most rewarding and fun things I've ever gotten to do in my whole life. Probably the craziest thing she's done while we do her makeup and hair is um, pumped. She needed to pump for her baby. Copy that. We're standing by for Kristen. Copy that. 15 mommy minutes. Multitasking is mandatory. Yes. 
it feels oddly comfortable to be hooked up to a milk machine while you're getting your hair curled and your makeup done. In the moment, it's so fun. And, and then at the end of the day, it's so exhausting at the same time. But we have so much fun while we're here that that's what gets us through. I don't think you can plan for a situation like this. There are certain things that happen that you have to attend to right after you have a baby. And if you're breastfeeding, you got to get it done. So I think when we decided to do this movie so soon after I had given birth, we just built in um, pumping times. No, she's a pro. I, I mean, I'm really impressed. This is pretty crazy. We, we work like 14, 15 hours. She pumps hour driving each way. Hour driving each hour way. Days. She pumps every three hours. She's in every scene. She memorizes her lines. She's multitasking. We're touching her makeup hair. It's crazy, you know? And Everybody's working very hard. She's doing it. Everybody is, yeah. I mean, it is a nonstop party, don't get me wrong, but it's also kind of not a nonstop party. It's like a lot of work, and everyone's working so hard. To zoom out is very dangerous. We gotta stay focused and stay in the day to day and accomplish everything we can, otherwise, we'll lose our minds. I've never been on a film that is shot this fast in my life. And I feel like, and I've done a lot of TV, and TV, you know, is like, they go much faster than film, but this goes faster than normal TV. Because I think everybody kind of did an all hands in in the beginning and said, this is the budget we have, but we want to make it look like a $25 million picture. Can we do it? And somehow I think we're, might, we might pull it off. People are going above and beyond their job descriptions, I feel like. Yeah, Kristen does my makeup most of the time. But everybody seems to be, you know, hopped up on Red Bull and excitement and... It has and a good independent feel, movie feel, so you know what I mean? With everybody pitching oh, in and stuff like that. Okay. I think yeah, I, I kind of like it. I, mean, I do too. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's not very standoffish. Everybody wants to be here, and it's a really, really nice environment. Stepping. Curious. And Rob is like, really, really not only, cool. he, first of all, he looks great. Yeah. He was handsome before, but, oh, <laughs> hey, Rob. Oh, hey. hey Rob. <laughs> So you're so, it's so late, you feel like you're talking to someone, and you're like, am I even awake? It's weird. Half of your brain just wants to just crawl up under a rock and just fall asleep. Tell you the truth, watching everybody else bust their ass. It's pretty inspiring at five o'clock in the morning. This guy, too. He dragged, this is like the 20th time he's dragged me out of the car. And I think the best thing that we can do at 5 o'clock in the morning is just be ready to go when they're ready. Yeah, that's true. You know all I mean? of a sudden it changes. Yeah. Like, we're all sitting around here, and you're, like, falling asleep eating pretzels, and then it's, like, rolling, yeah, you know? I'm getting yeah. something. You got to jump up and down and get ready. Yeah. Because yeah, they're busting their ass. But it's cool. If I was going to stay up so far doing anything else, I mean, I'd much rather be doing this because I feel like you're doing something productive and active. And for real. It's like this every day. It's like this every day. Yep. In the next next movie, two people in an elevator. Um, <laughs> two people in an elevator. Uh, every single person. I don't regret the decision, you know, the big decision of being aggressive and trying to do an expansive, low-budget movie as opposed to doing, like, something much smaller in scope. I, I still think it's the right call, but we knew what we were getting into, that it would be hard and grueling and stressful, and, uh, and it has been. It being such an ambitious schedule is because I, you know, all those things that fans wanted to see in the movie, I, I want to see most of those too, and I'm trying to figure out ways to get to them. Like, there are concerns that we could have done some things better with more time and focus, but I would do it the same way again. Getting out of bed review from there. Yeah. I even liked it. And Okay, is that? Okay.
That is a good game. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for a great day. That's a wrap! Hey, it's 420. All right, 420. Uh, we can't use that. <laughs> Went by so fast, are you kidding me? I can't even believe it's, I can't believe it's over. I don't know what I'm gonna do now. I feel happy, dude. I think it's gonna be a great movie for the fans. I love them for it, I love them so much. And uh, I just hope I get to do this more. I don't want it to end. Funny how the great things that are happening in my life now come full circle. It started with Veronica Mars, and now big screen nationally uh, through Veronica Mars. So I'm happy, man. I had the most fun ever doing the show, and so to be able to do the feature film version with the same people that I love is a gift, and I will dearly miss it. We had some really hard, really long, really tense days, but I think, um, honestly, the people like behind Brian Morris have the best sense of humor, and we laugh all the time. Oh, you'll see Dick again for sure. Oh, yeah. Spin-off. The Casablancas. So even through the really stressful, really intense moments, I feel like there was so much camaraderie and humor and fun that kind of gets you through it. It was, it was hard, but I'm so, so glad that we did it, and I really, really hope that we made all the fans that contributed very happy. Knowing that these people are paying for the movie, too, also just made me want to work that much harder. When I'm there and I know that this is like literally people that work nine to five jobs and they're giving us their money, like, I'm not going to let them down. I'm going to work 24 hours a day. I'm so delirious right now. I have not slept a good night in like the last two months. And that's for you guys. They were constantly on our minds to make the best movie possible, and I feel like we really worked. If it's possible to work even harder, we worked even harder for them because we wanted it to be great for them and give them back um, a great movie because they did so much for us. Comic-Con. Yes, yeah, we're at Comic-Con. When Veronica Mars was announced to be at Comic-Con, it was like, this is the reason we are going. Like, we have no other purpose to go to Comic-Con if not for this day. So today has been Veronica Mars Day. We looked at our hotel room and uh, we saw like lines of sleeping bags, like in a formation and then it went, the line went across, across the street. Today, she was like, we have to go to the line. So it was like, it, it was like 4 p.m. and we were here. There was no line yet, so we were like one of the first ones in line. No, no, no. Going to Don't tell. Hall H at Comic Con. They fill this thing called Hall H, which big is like hall. the biggest freaking hall. It's a huge room. I thought, no way, Hall H, that's too big. That's too, too big for us. That's where the big shows go. 10,000 <laughs> people. Is that true? No, I think it's like six, but it felt like The point like being is a lot, lot of people. Being able to be in Hall H on oh a panel God. and having been the first people to do all these crazy things on Kickstarter, and it was just, it felt like we were Comic-Con royalty or something. It was really crazy. 6.15, we'll travel you to the location. 6.45, arrive at location. And I was like, where are we going? It, it like, is less than a half a mile. It's literally across yeah. the street but they had to drive like eight zones out of the way to get, I mean, it was, the whole thing was such a circus. I'm very nervous. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what to oh, expect. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, Piz is excited. Piz is ready. Piz is born ready. Yeah. <laughs> this is gonna be like Pizneyland. Totally. Feeling <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> good. Feeling good about this. Comic-Con, <laughs> where comics happen, right? We are going to the panel, man. This is, I'm getting nervous. Exciting. I had a Team Logan shirt on to try and make up for the fact that everybody wants to crucify me. Getting ready to hit Hall H, man. About to get on that stage in front of six, seven thousand people, I think. First time for me. I mean, I've spoken in front of the church a couple of times, gave a couple of Martin Luther King I Have a Dream speeches, but nothing like this, man. But in 2007, the CW canceled the series, fans were left with cliffhangers that they thought would never be resolved. But early next year, they're finally going to get some answers in the form of something rather radical, a movie paid for by the fans themselves. I was really excited to show the sizzle reel because I had only seen the sizzle reel like three days before, mm -hmm. and it was just replaying in my head of like, oh my gosh, we get to show this off. I know the fans were ecstatic. The energy in the hall age was like, Incredible. Everybody around us is so excited, like listening to every word. This could 
very well be my 15 minutes, and so I have tried to savor it. Walking out on that big Hall H Comic Con stage, I was very cognizant of here I am in minute 10, and that was pretty amazing. Movie wise, do you want to keep on doing it? Oh yes, I do. Yeah, uh, I want to be, I want to be a fun franchise. Yeah. Our cast is really well spoken and our cast is genuinely excited to be there. I think it's sort of, that's a blanket highlight, but it's the truth. I know, Ryan and Chris are great, Jason is great as always, but I really think that the Team Piz, Team Logan t-shirts were the highlight. Number one on Twitter, we're trending, we're number one right after the panel. I think it went pretty good. Kristen's amazing at what she does. She's really good at it. She was doing that, that's why I said that. I wasn't like, yeah, great at it. Yeah, there it is. Rob made me excited for the movie and I'm in it. You know what I mean? Like, I was like, I want to go see that movie. Why am I... You know what's happening right now? Everybody else is having lunch over there and Piz is all here by himself. That's how this... really makes you feel real really, good Really, really gives you a, a delusional look at yeah. how famous you are, because it's... You're like, what's up, what's up, sign this? Okay, I remember you go my... back home and it's like... Later in the day, there was another panel, only this was for 450 or so die-hard Veronica Mars fans. <laughs> People are going to be lining up. The Kickstarter went so fast. I don't want to miss out a chance on this. Oh, it's about 6.30 a.m. Me and my man Francis Capper are about to go over here and uh, surprise our VMARS fans, right? We're about to relieve some people that have been here apparently since 11 o'clock when they only needed to be here at 6. I picked out the window and saw the, saw the mayhem out there. So it'll be fun to bring them some donuts and, uh, and tell them thanks for hanging out. <laughs> in the bathroom, I'm like midstream and I hear everyone screaming and yelling outside and I'm like, what? I'm like running out the door, pulling up my pants, like running out the bathroom door, I'm like, what, what, what? They surprised us with donuts, but the best part is that Percy and Francis came in and brought us donuts and I got a hug and I'm getting pictures and I'm so excited right now. I'm gonna cry, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, I'm just really excited, best day ever. Worth every minute I spent awake outside, and every minute I didn't sleep yesterday. 
It's fantastic. We got a lot of donuts. Francis and Percy came out and gave us donuts. Yeah. It was really awesome. It was we a, talked to them, yeah. we took pictures. Yeah. It was a total like fangirl moment and you could feel the like energy of Squee <laughs> yeah. in this room. And we were on um, sitting on the curb waiting to get brought up here. I kept saying, Rob Thomas, where is he? Where is he? He needs to be out here passing all donuts. Well worth getting up at 5.30 this morning. Veronica Mars fans are the definition of what a fan should be to me. They they set the bar really, really high, and uh, it's, it's the best. I feel amazing, man. It's just, it's so incredible to feel this energy from these people and see see how happy they are, and just to be here, I'm still, Still pinching myself, man. I can't believe that we're really here and this is happening, man. I'm, I'm overwhelmed. We just I'm glad to hype we did this up. together, man. That was so, so cool. Man. That was so cool. Ambushed. Him. When you went through, you were like, you were like Muhammad Ali going through this. Everybody <laughs> was just like, oh, we want to touch you. We want to touch you. It was awesome, man. <laughs> What do I have money for except to sh give money to things I love? And I love Veronica Mars. Making more Veronica Mars makes me happy, and that's what I want to spend my money on. Ow! Ow, the This is it. Yeah, I just taught him the bear in the shower. You gotta lift up the belly. Get that. It's so exciting to see that so many Veronica Mars fans still care so deeply and so passionately and freaked out when the cast came out. So it's so nice to see that after so many years, that passion has not waned at all. Those were like our guys, all of them. So that was awesome because it felt more intimate, you know what I mean? And we could just kind of be ourselves. It's a franchise that I, I think we could do over and over. Like right? a lot like Star Trek. Yes. <laughs> So besides the fact that we basically gave you almost six million dollars for your movie, what can you share like one of your favorite positive experiences you've had with Veronica Mars fans or fandom? You know what it feels like? Uh, a mutually beneficial relationship. And in this business, it's not often like that. We had a lot of backers who paid to be extras in the film. And I remember we were going into shooting this, this day that was like overwhelming, like we had no time to do it. And it was like all these stunts and it was gonna be a huge crazy day. And it actually, I think, made that whole day just so beautiful because anytime you would get stressed or you know, just being on set or things moving slow or things just being stressful in general, you'd look around and there'd be all these people there who were just so happy to be standing in the same room. It's spectacular what you've done for, for all of us um, and for the film. And, 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 and I mean, just seeing y'all's spirit is really a, a quite an empowering thing for us. Uh, that was my... Top that one, assholes. Yeah. <laughs> like some crying <laughs> actors, okay? Forget the fans. Oh. We, had, like, people on, we had people on the panel crying. Uh, um, for good reason, well, it was, totally, you know, I don't, I Hopefully the thing. fans weren't crying for a bad reason. You know, as an actor, you're involved with a ton of different projects that sometimes entertain people, and if you're lucky, a couple of them have significance to people and actually have helped them in some way or another. Every single bit that I show up on that set, I know that you guys put me there. And it makes me, my heart break in the best way possible to know that, you know, what we're doing and what's so fun to us, like, you get it. And that, that means more than anything else to me is like, Rob could literally have written me like, hey, it's Max in the background. <laughs> it's always my favorite interactions when someone comes up and says like, you know what, I was a loner in high school and this really gave me strength to get through it. It's just, it makes everything extra, extra special. There's you guys, like throughout this whole ride from then to now, um, dealing with that kind of thing, it's a good feeling to know that there's always 
grateful there's 91,000 marshmallows out there that, uh, that love you. It's even more special when it's something that that has this kind of weight and significance to people's lives. It's not just something they put on the television. It's like this this girl that Rob created means something to people, and it's just an honor to get to play her. Uh, thank you to Rob and the cast for making such an amazing television show that brought together fans on a totally different level. Um, and thank you all for making this movie a reality. Thank you, thank you, thank, thank, you, guys thank you for letting us do this again. We're so genuinely grateful. It just is exactly what you'd expect of Veronica Mars fans, just so committed and driven by this project. The gratitude went both ways, um, getting to go there and be there when they screened it and hear people laughing or, or reacting to different moments or cheering, um, well, it was sort of the constant high when we were there. I think it has to be a really unique circumstance for it to happen, and I think this qualifies. Or if Rob had a brand new idea as opposed to doing a Veronica Mars movie, he's not gonna get $5 million for that. It's, you had something with pre-existing fans who missed it, who wanted it back, and when they heard it was coming back, went nuts and started giving money. In terms of entertainment journalism, it was one of the most, like, this really fascinating, unusual flashpoint in the emergence of social media. The newsy aspect of it for us was that so many people wanted to support this. That's really unusual. A lot of people say they want to do things and are hoping to get alternate source of fundraising and it doesn't happen. That this one succeeded made it something that ABC News was interested in. In the community of, of showrunners who've had shows that have had early ends to their, their illustrious lives, there is a sense of hope, a renewed hope that we will be able to continue to tell the stories that we were so passionately telling on television at one time in a larger format. From a movie point of view, it's a very interesting development. I think Hollywood studios are very happy to make films that are $30 million, that are $300 million, but small pictures like this, uh, they fly too far underneath the radar. And I think this is a really interesting way of getting that finance and getting films like this made. It's amazing. I mean, I think it's the right project and the right movie and the right platform kind of all coming together at the same time. And the fact that this actually happened and that it's not just this weird fantasy is incredible. And I, you know, I like the precedent that's been set here. And I'm really interested in seeing what people are going to do next. It's not about having no money and wanting some money. It's about enabling projects to get made. And this is a project that would not have got made if it hadn't been for crowdfunding. So I think Kickstarter's there to, to, to make impossible things possible. That's a massive game changer. The idea that fans, even a few of them, can have what they want if they can make it work for everybody. I mean, there's no end to the stuff that we could hope to get back. I think we won't understand the full impact of crowdsourcing and Kickstarter for a generation. I think it'll take a generation for it to really sink in that, oh my god, what? how did we even do this before there was crowdfunding. No matter what happens, this is already a success. It was a Kickstarter success. It made Kickstarter history. It's bringing so much joy to the other Kickstarter backers, and it's been such a great experience that, you know, it's already a success, whatever happens after this. But I think there are more great things to come. I think that's what everybody wants to see. I think that's the thing, I think that's one of the newsy aspects of it, you know? Having raised the money, can they now make the movie they want? And can the movie succeed in the marketplace? That's really part of the story and that's going to be fun to find out. It definitely has opened people up to looking at things in a less traditional way, which I think is really a huge step forward. How big of a movie can this be? It's all thanks to the, the publicity that this Kickstarter campaign gave us. At the end of the day, this movie was never going to get made without the fans. It wouldn't exist without that enthusiasm or that support. Yeah, there would be no Veronica Mars movie if, uh, if the fans weren't devoted to it. They played the essential role. Unlike other movies that start and, you know, well-meaning enough with a group of artists getting together and make a movie and hope that an audience comes out, this one started with the fans saying, voting with their pocketbook, please make this movie, we would really like to see it. So the fans were the movie.